Am I the asshole? For making something difficult for my son about myself? I had a son 18 years ago. My husband at the time pressured me into having a child despite knowing that I never wanted children. He then passed away in an accident and I was left alone with a child that I knew I could never care for like he deserved. I gave him up when he was a year old. I've tried my best to not think about him and have been. Living. I remarried and am alright. Well he recently reached out and made it very clear he wasn't interested in a relationship. We met at a restaurant and he seemed very defensive and there was quite a lot of tension. He asked me a couple questions about certain mental illnesses running in the family and I answered all of them. While I was getting ready to leave, I asked him if he goes to college university. Just to get rid of some tension. He said he does and he even got a volleyball scholarship. I was a volleyball player too and got a scholarship for the same school. I told him what I mentioned, called it a cool coincidence. He rolled his eyes at me and said it isn't a coincidence if you're my biological mother. I didn't know what to say to that. He continued, what? Is it too much for you to handle? I'm sorry for having something in common with you, my actual mother. My bad for being born. I said I was sorry but he kept rolling his eyes. I began to feel overwhelmed and I know this isn't fair for me to say, but he was beginning to remind me of his father and I ended up saying look I'm sorry but I never wanted to be a mother, you're allowed to be angry but please understand that I was forced into having a child I never wanted. He went way to play the victim before storming off. Safe to say, I feel terrible. The only people who know about this are my mother and sister and even they said that I was only thinking about myself in that moment and I shouldn't have brought up anything and just answered his questions. They said that I made it about myself when it's clear that the kid was having a hard time facing me already. My sister even implied that I was a little self-centered. Maybe this isn't the best place to ask but I'm too ashamed to talk about this to anyone else. My sister also said it wouldn't hurt, am I the asshole? Not the asshole it sounds like he needs some help to get through whatever trauma he has from being adopted but that's not your responsibility. Emo you did the right thing. You didn't want a child and weren't prepared or mentally able to raise one. I hope you don't blame yourself too much for this interaction, as his view of you from the beginning makes me believe he wouldn't have liked anything you said regardless. Nah. You are two humans navigating a difficult at best issue. It doesn't sound like either of you were malicious, just nervous and uncomfortable. Nah. You weren't trying to make it about you, you were only trying to relate to him. Unfortunately, because you abandoned the child he is going to have bad feelings about you whether or not you like it. And that does not make him an ah, that is a normal reaction. These are the consequences of your actions whether or not you like it. Maybe just apologize and move on. It really seems like neither of you want a relationship. This is a difficult situation that's beyond the scope of advice from strangers on the internet. Nah. Could you have handled this better? Yes. But honestly, this doesn't make you an asshole. It was a difficult situation for both of you. Being an asshole entails a certain amount of malice or obliviousness to other people's needs. I don't think either are true for you. You're a human who could have acted a little different in an emotionally stressful situation. You mentioned that you have a therapist. Talk to them. If your son contacts you again have a plan ready. Not the asshole. I don't understand why he'd reach out or take the effort to find you if he wasn't interested in a relationship with you. What did he hope to gain? Proud of you for responding to him and be willing to meet with him. Also for the record, you didn't abandon him as other comments have mentioned. You gave him an opportunity to have a better life than you could have provided. There's no shame in not wanting to be a mother. Don't let him or others tear you down because you were manipulated into something you didn't desire and did what you felt was best for yourself and him. Not the asshole x200b but he sounds like he's had a stressful time and assumes you've just abandoned him actually meeting you overwhelmed him he probably doesn't want to hear an explanation after 18 years of wondering why you decided to give him up i wish my mom would have given me up to someone who gave a shit about me i'd still have felt hurt at 18 knowing i was given up of course but rolling the dice with anyone other than my bio mom is something i'd do if i could in retrospect so it's just my opinion but you could have done much more damage to him if you'd stayed as his caretaker knowing and feeling what you do did. Not the asshole please don't make women have babies they don't want. It's terrible for the babies and the moms. It's strange how some people here are so quick to decide certain people are worthy of complete empathy, and in no way responsible for their actions, and others deserve no empathy and are completely responsible for not only their own actions, but others as well. Nah. This is rough for all parties. 
he clearly has a lot of anger and it sounds like you also have unresolved feelings. With no mediator it sounds like this meeting was a loose-loose situation for both of you. If possible please see a therapist to navigate this for yourself and possibly your son as well, depending on the feedback from the therapist. You made the right choice for both of you all those years ago given your options at the time. Not the asshole, you went and answered his questions. You didn't have to do that, but did it out of kindness, much like the adoption. He may not understand it now, but you made the right choice for you and him in the long run. Nah and it sounds like you made the right decision to give him up. Not the asshole. You were honest. It is better than lying and pretending, which could give him false hope for something more. Not the asshole. Nobody is the ah uh here. This is a dreadful situation and I can respect that you were clear about what you wanted then and accept that now. I also understand a teen feeling the things they expressed. I'm sorry and I hope you can talk to your therapist and feel better about moving forward. Really not the A. You said in the comments that you think that you want a relationship with him now. Why? Nothing has changed and it's a little late to be a mother-like figure to him. He might not even want to be your friend. Nah I think. For checking medical backgrounds you don't need to meet I think it would went way smoother via email. Both of you have valid emotions and I don't think it was wrong to tell him you never wanted to be a mother. Sometimes truth hurts but he chose to be verbally aggressive towards and you don't have to nod and say yes to this. Absolutely not the asshole. You made all the right decisions in your difficult situation, and you were honest. Being forced into giving birth to a child wasn't your fault. You quite literally were a victim, and people disregarding that is cruel and disgusting. I'm so sorry you had to go through all of this, I'm sending all my best wishes to you and I'm sorry the people in your life lack understanding and compassion towards you to this degree. Nah. You are not obligated to sit there and let this guy treat you like that. I get why he treated you like that he feels abandoned because, well, he was but I fully understand why you'd react the way you did as well. It probably was not the best idea to meet your biological son if you hadn't put more thought into what you were going to say. Your words were cold, and this wasn't helpful to someone struggling with their mental health. Even if this spiraled and you didn't intend to hurt him, there is some damage. Hopefully, you can take another shot at explaining what happened. Maybe some of your extended family would like to meet him. Life is hard, there's no need to make it harder for either of you. Nah. This is a bad situation all around, you're both victims of your late husband. It sounds like both you and he need therapy separately to get over the trauma of his birth and giving him up because you both are still in pain. Hurt people hurt people, that conversation was only going to go poorly with all of that unprocessed emotion. Nah. It's a painful situation all around, and everyone is trying to cope as best they can. You have your burdens to bear, they're not his burdens. He has his burdens too, and they're not yours, even if you were his birth mother. Nah but you shouldn't post it here where people will judge thing as black and white and what's socially morally acceptable. I'm sure there's a better sub for support. I hope you'll delete this post here before getting hate from those people. Nah. 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 It's weird he wanted to meet up if he had already decided he didn't want a relationship instead of just sending you correspondence with questions. He was clearly curious about you and also wanted to unload some pent up anger. You did your best, which wasn't great, but that's part of a why you gave him up. This is a really difficult situation for both of you and I would recommend sending them a letter better articulating everything you feel you said wrong. I agree with your sister. Just let him be angry. Not the asshole for giving him away. The situation sounds horrific but you're the asshole for the was you handled at tbh. I completely understand his side of things. His mom finally reaches out to him 18 years after, in his eyes, abandoning him and she says what a coincidence when you both like the same thing so he days how that upset him and his mother acts sad about what she did. I don't blame you for giving him away but I do blame you for the way you reacted to the situation. I think he was looking for more love and how much who regretted giving him from you and started lashing out when he didn't get the meeting he had pictured in his head. It's sad but not the asshole. Info request you were pressured into having the child you never wanted? What would have happened if you didn't have the child? I feel for you you never should have went. You could have sent an email or a letter to him explaining family illnesses and such. Also, to try to get on his level with coincidences is not a good break that you care if there's tension? I would have expected that you would want to get in there and get out. Leave that door shut. The best part about this post is that it exposes myths around adoption, as well as a deep and profound ignorance of what adopted people's lives are actually like. 
No idea if you are or not or not, I'm referring largely to the posts in response. I would have held off saying he wasn't wanted. It just is unnecessarily hurtful emo. You could have just explained you felt you couldn't give him the life he deserves so gave him up for his own sake even if it's not entirely true. I am adopted. Found out when I was 5th grade or so and they were talking about her lineage. Honestly never really bothered me much. I joined 23 and just to find out about potential chances of cancer, mental illness etc connected with birth mother and sisters. Made it very clear that I did not want a relationship just information. When they started asking personal questions about how I was raised I pointed out it was none of their business. I can't speak for your son as to how hurt he is but I feel neither of you are nah. Nah. You did what you had to in a difficult situation and it was kind of you to agree to meet with him and answer his questions to begin with. He's also not the asshole because that has to be a hard thing to work through and it's entirely understandable that he's upset and lashing out. I wish the best for both of you. Nah you were coerced into having a child you expressed you didn't want. You gave the child up for adoption to free yourself and also to give the child a better quality of life. As all children deserve to be loved sometimes birth parents aren't the ones who can do it for whatever reason. He has trauma to work through and I really hope he can get what he needs as no one deserves to feel stuck like he clearly does. We all blurt things out especially in situations that are awkward no one is perfect. Nah. I was adopted as a baby. And I honestly want to commend you for putting your child first and giving him up so he could be raised by people who actually wanted him. His reaction is understandable. So is yours. He is allowed to feel the way that he feels about you. But I think you did the best you could. I understand exactly what you were trying to say, but your son is the one person on the planet that absolutely can't hear that. No matter how well you phrase it, you're telling him that his birth was a tragedy for you, and that's heartbreaking for him. If you ever see him again, Save all of those thoughts and feelings for whoever you see immediately after meeting up with him.